welcome to Project Turn and Burn, which is a new project panning thing that I'm bringing to this channel because I saw it over on Panning for Goals, which if you're not sub to her and you like Project Pan content, definitely sub to her. Her channel isn't very big, but it deserves so many more subs than what it's got. She is awesome at what she does, and every time I see another project of hers, it makes me want to join in. I don't always do it, but I always think it, but this one I was like, Oh, dude, I so want in on this one. So, basically, Project Turn and Burn is focusing on produ uh, products you could whip through real quickly, like it's nothing. Like, you don't necessarily have to update it every month. You can do it at whatever pace you want to, and if you don't finish all the projects, or the products that you brought in, no harm, no foul, but whatever you did finish, I mean, you actually whipped through real quick. So <laughs> it's that much that's cleared out of your system and you have that much more space opened up for new stuff. But anyway, a lot of people focus on like little sample size products or like the ones you get in mailers and things that like we all have. And a lot of us push to like the back of a drawer like as a, yeah, well, I'll eventually get to using that, but then we never freaking do. And then we end up with like a whole drawer of them. Yeah, a lot of people do this project with just those, but you can do it on literally anything you can work through quickly. So I have some of those, and I have others that are just small that I know that I could work through fast, but again, if I don't finish them all in like a month or however long it's going to be till I update next, no harm, no foul. Maybe I'll roll them back in, maybe I'll just do all new ones and take whatever wins I got on how much progress I made. So anyway, since we are shopping our stash, I bought myself a little, a little prop to go with it. I'll have to tilt down. Yes, I literally bought a teeny tiny, a teeny tiny little itty bitty shopping cart for this. And yes, it's pink and it's freaking cute as hell. And I loaded this bad boy up and I cannot wait to show you what all I've rolled in for this first update. Let me see if I can angle this in a way to where I'm in shot and it's in shot. Something like that. Something like that anyway. So, if I have it back here. Yeah, that'll work. So, what I'm rolling in. I've got this itty bitty bitty little Laneige um, Glowy Makeup Serum. Which, I have two of this. I have the one that's been in my skincare fridge. This one that's almost gone, but I also have one more. So I'm gonna see if I can whip through this one in this update. And maybe whip through the other one in the next one. But like right now, it's literally... Can you guys see through there? That little bitty line. That's all that's in there. Like, it's, it's real low. It's real low. It probably doesn't have that many more uses in it, but it doesn't pull up that much product at a time either. So, you know, it's deceptive. It doesn't look like there's that much in there, but there's probably at least several more uses in it. But I have that in here. I have... This is probably several uses, but it... Um, I bought this from Shop Miss A, and it's by Defeel, just like the lotions and stuff I bought from them. And it is a Sunflower Mega Care Vitamin E Oil Premium Hair Mask. And... It's supposed to prevent, uh, helps prevent thinning hair, revitalizes hair and scalp for fuller looking hair, and promotes healthy and natural hair growth. So, I mean, you hit an age as a woman, your hair does start to naturally thin, and I know my hair used to be way thicker than it is now. So, I know that the hair part has gotten way wider over time, too, so I'm like, you know what, anything I can, I can get that might help with that. Probably not a bad idea, so... Will it do anything? Who knows? It was literally a dollar, so I'm not exactly holding my breath, but at the same time, I do like using hair masks, so I'll try it. I'll try it. Like I said, it's definitely more than a single use in this. I'd probably say it's like at least three or four. Maybe. Maybe even five. It depends. It depends on the consistency and how much it takes to coat the hair. I will know after the first use about how much I think is in there, but anyway. Got that also have the remainder I've about halfway used this my honey Jarrett clean whip cleanser which has been mostly lying dormant ever since I was trying to really whip through the end of that Murad cleanser but I finally finished it so now I can finish using this guy up too so this is in this project so far I'm noticing a theme here all the pinks all the pinks is it because it's the month of the Marvie movie comes out maybe Maybe. Or maybe I just like pink. Anyway, 
So I'm also rolling in the e.l.f. Cookies and Dreams Lip Gloss in Brain Freeze. I know I keep bringing this one in to Lippies of the Week, but I think I'm going to roll this into this project too so it just stays in rotation. Because look how little is left in there. And for how much of this I whip through in like even a week, like that that is not that much product for me. That's not that much. That's maybe like a two-weeker for me and it'll be on. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. So I've got that in because I would like to use it up. I almost decluttered it in the last lippy declutter because I thought it smelled off. But then I like went back to it the next day. Then I was like, no, maybe my nose was just off. But I'm like, if I'm even second guessing it, let's just whip through this guy ASAP and get it done and gone and out. And that'll be that. I've also got this itty bitty super cute little Mario Badescu skincare vitamin C serum. It's just itty bitty. Shouldn't take too long. I don't think anyway. So between this and the other one, should be able to whip through both of those. No problem. Then I've got... I know we have been seeing this in so many different projects and I'm still trying to whip through them. I have this one and the other one, but it's the Hey Honey Show Your Glow Colloidal Gold and Honey Beauty Mask. Uh, it looks full. It's not. It's not. It's just that it, because it coats the sides, it makes it seem like it is, even though it's been used several times. But I, I would like to try and finish up at least one of these because it seems like they are slow, so slow moving, moving, mostly because they're such a pain in the ass to wash off that I don't naturally want to gravitate to it but now with it in not one but two different projects uh yeah it's gonna be a lot harder to ignore it so that'll mo uh, move it up in the priorities list of things to use i've also got the remainder of the item beauty light sauce balancing gel moisturizer this guy uh it's pretty low i'm trying to see if i can see through the light like, I think it's about down to, like, here at this point, which is still a good amount, because you only use, like, a little dime-sized amount each time, but it's still a decent amount, but I think I can whip through this. I'd like to whip through it, because I have, like, a bunch of different tubes of stuff in my skincare fridge right now, and I'd kind of like to open up some real estate in there, you know? Now this, I've got two of, and I have the full size of, but this is the open one that's been open since, like, 2020, so, uh, I know, that's definitely way longer than you're supposed to have these open for, but it's the Glam Glow Bright Eyes Illuminating Anti-Fatigue Eye Cream. And we are down, we are, like, there, you can see it now, like, way, way, way deep in there, and granted, it doesn't take much at a time, but I would like to finish this one off, just given the age of it, and it's a spendy product. Yeah, it's the sample size, but it's still a spendy product at the end of the day, and I don't want it to go to waste. So we're going to try and whip through this guy. This will be the daytime one. I'll move my Tony Moly one to nighttime since it's a retinol one anyway, so I think that'll be good. And then this... No judging. Someone sent me this for free, and I, I don't buy Mary Kay shit, but somebody sent me this, and it is the Mary Kay Clear Proof Deep Cleansing Charcoal Mask. Yes, trust me, I am fully aware of how problematic Mary Kay is. I have no intentions of subscribing. I have no intentions of spending money there, but one of my friends sells Mary Kay and wanted to send me free shit, so this was one of the things she sent, so I may as well use it up. Some of the other stuff looked too iffy, and I was like, mm, I'm good, but it's just a charcoal mask. I think this is safe enough to use, so we'll use that up. I've also got this itty-bitty L'Oreal Paris, um, I think it's just the Age Perfect Cell Renewal Midnight Cream, so I'm not sure if this is like one or two uses, like it's, you can kind of see through there, like it might even be three, depending, but um, it's not very much, regardless, so may as well use this up as, an, as a nighttime one, since it's just sitting there taking up room anyway. I've got the remainder of this little perfume sample of Zaro's The Most Wanted. I already worked through one of these a while back, but I have this much more in here, and it's a very, very potent scent. Literally one spritz will last you all damn day, which is why this one, it's that little and yet there's still that much left. I don't wear it every day, nor do I intend on wearing it every day, but I'd like to at least try to whip through this one and just use it up. 
it's a bit much. It's a bit much. Fully, uh, fully comprehending that, but... And I figure, you know, I have a couple other masks in here, so I only threw in one sheet mask, but I think in the future I'll probably throw in, like, two or three, since that seems reasonable for, like, a monthish. But we have the Nature uh, Moisture Green Tea Mask Pack, which, you know, nothing fancy, it's just a green tea sheet mask, so. But yeah, that is what all I shopped my stash for this intro of Project Turn and Burn. When I do the next update, I guess you guys will see how much I whipped through, and if not all of it, and I will roll in new stuff. So anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this. If you're also taking part in this project, let me know if you're making content, be it here or on any other social media, because I'd love to help root you on and see your progress too. And as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload, leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddits. Threads too, even though it's not listed on here yet. I need to add that in. I don't know how to link to it yet, but I'm on there. But I'm on there. You can probably find it through Instagram, probably. Uh, my subreddits, everything more, it's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, until next time, see ya.